Hello there. Uh, let's see, I've just uh, set up an account with Flickr. Actually, I've had the account for a long time, but now I've really started putting pr uh, photos on it because they've uh, recently upgraded the storage space to a terabyte. Um, so now I'm really taking it seriously, and as you can see here, I've got uh, a ton of photos on here, over 20,000. Um, I have 222 sets and uh, 20,000 pictures plus. So um, I thought I would do a little tutorial on how to use this thing. Uh, so I have a, uh, uh, the sets are, you can't really like take your folders and say, uh, take these folders and put them into Flickr in folders, but you can put them in the sets. All right, so the way, here's how you do that. Uh, I'm gonna add a new folder or a new set. So first thing is upload up here at the top. Select upload. Now they say you can drag and drop here and choose do this stuff. Uh, I tried it and I find that this button right here works much better. You just click this little add button up here in the upper left hand corner. Alright, go to your folder where your pictures are. Now this, for me, as long as I'm here, I'll just show you this. I, uh, for the most part, I put my folder pictures into folders like this. You can see they start with the year, and then the uh, the month, and then the date, and then a brief description of what's in the folder. And uh, that works out really, really nice. So here's my new folder that I'm going to put into a set in Flickr. It's a Con Carolinas, which is a, a sci-fi uh, and fantasy convention in Charlotte, North Carolina. All right, so first thing I do is I highlight the the file, or the folder rather. I click it again to highlight the text, just like I'm going to edit it, and hit Control-C. You could also use that. Copy. All right, open the folder. Select the pictures. They are limited to 200 pictures at a time, so if you have a folder with more than 200, grab something less than 200, and then you'll have to go back, remember where you left off, and get the rest of them. All right, I've selected the uh, photos. Open. And they come up in here. So I can add to sets. Now, remember I said Control-C on the file, on the folder name. Control-V, or left, right, right click, paste puts the uh, folder name right there that will be the name of my set and you can type it in eat too this is just a little shortcut that I use create a new set create set and done now uh, each folder or each picture excuse me uh, will have this little uh, icon in the bottom right hand corner and you can see a little um, that it's going around uh, filling up with a, a lighter shade of gray there and uh, after a few seconds it'll go all the way around there it is okay and then it goes to the next photo now if you have movies it will do those first but uh, beware movies take forever um, and I think it's a limit of about a gigabyte uh, for how large your movie files can be alrighty so uh, now it says that it's uploading the photos or at least it looks like it's uploading the photos and uh, now I'm going to pause here for a second alrighty um, since I paused it as it has downloaded or uploaded uh, just about all of these photos we're on the next to the last one now um, so I thought I'd, while it was doing the last couple I'd go over a few of the options and things that you can do while it's uploading um, these are taking a while because they're big files. Uh, if you want to see how big, you can click this little info button up here. And uh, and it will tell you some things uh, like how they're set, whether they're uh, the privacy setting, um, that it is in a set, um, and uh, the size of the file. You can also delete the file or remove it from... Now, this doesn't affect your hard drive. This is just from from Flickr. So, um, we're on the next to last one there. Um, 
I'll take that back off and also you can um, do things like include these in sets now you know I've, I've already put it in this set here but I could also click this little plus sign here and add it to another set uh, you can do things to only certain pictures within your group here by just it's just like selecting files in Windows as long as you have at least something selected you you get this in menu over here uh, so that you can add them to groups um, owner settings you can say what type of license you want you know uh, there's a uh, creative commons and uh, no licensing and all this kind of stuff I'm, I'm so far I've just you left that on the, the default setting uh, visible to by clicking that you can choose to show it say only to your family now uh, family or friends it, for someone to be your family or friend they must have a Flickr account and we're talking about uh, when they're logged into Flickr they can see and, and if you have them assigned as a family or a friend then they they can see your, your photos that you have marked family or friend um, these are fine for anyone to see um, you can put tags on the pictures Click the little tag button there and type in um, whatever you want for the tag to be to make them more easily searchable. Uh, if if not, it will use the file names. But as you can see here, I've not really done anything special with with my file names. Really, uh, there's one where the file name is pretty descriptive that you could search on that file name Frank uh, and and find Frank. You can change the size. The, all these photos fit on one. Um, screen but if I had more photos I might want to see more of, the, of them so I can change the size that it displays them all right all my pictures have uh, finished up uploading now now here's where the, this is a little uh, not intuitive all right now it's you would think that since it's gone through and it's done the little uh, timer wheel thing on each one and it's all done now that they're uploaded but now look upload 15 photos you still got to do that I don't really understand that, but that's just the way it is. All right, so then you say upload to photo stream, and then it goes through a little uploading or publishing phase there. And then it adds them to the sets if you have added them to a set. And I have. Hold on there, Tiger. So now if I click on sets. There's a new set, the one that I just uploaded 15 photos to. Um, so there you are. Really, to upload photos, that's all there is to it. You don't have to put them in sets, but my goodness, if you put 20,000 pictures on there, you're going to want them to be divided up somehow. Otherwise, it's going to be crazy to try to find anything. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.